Hello guys, Soft Tony here, thank you for watching this brand new After Effects tutorial and in this one we will be creating ultra modern and cool transition without using any third party plugins. So let's animate and create this eye catching transition. Alright, we're here in After Effects and first, like always, let's create a new composition, hit Ctrl or Command plus N on your keyboard or this little icon, this is gonna be final composition like usual, 1920 by 1080, 30 frames per second and mine duration is 7 seconds long, hit OK and go here on the rectangle tool, double click, make sure that fill color is set to solid color and stroke to none, then open up this rectangle 1 option, open up this rectangle Bad, like so, go to 1 second and 15 frames here on our timeline, uncheck this option constraint proportion, set up the first keyframe for size and type here 220. Now go here at 0 frames and type here 0. Ok, now select both of our keyframes, hit F9 to easy ease them, then go to graph editor and just draw a curve like this, for the speed influence it doesn't matter. If you can't see curve like this, go right click and you will find edit speed graph, ok, and just draw a curve something like this. Ok, now in our finals when we hit 0, we have something like this. Ok, now let's duplicate this shape layer 01, hit ctrl plus D and then move it below this shape layer 01 and then go here on align option and align it to the bottom. And let's rename this one to shape layer 5 like this, duplicate this shape layer one once again, hit ctrl plus D and I have forgotten to say if you can find a line option just go window and you will find it here. Ok, now go here in the align option again and move it to the bottom or align it to the bottom. This is gonna be shape layer 01, the second one is third, shape layer 3, ok. Now let's duplicate this first shape layer, hit ctrl plus D and we will rename this one to shape layer 2 because this is gonna be second layer here, ok? And then use arrows on your keyboard and shift to move it below this shape layer 01. Make sure that our shapes are overlapping each other. And now let's duplicate this shape layer 3 here in the middle, hit ctrl plus D, this is gonna be shape layer 4 like this. And repeat the process, move it below this shape layer 3. And now when we hit 0 we have something like this here in the final scene and if you want to readjust it you can select them all and readjust it a bit more in the finals and for now we don't need to do this because our shapes are aligned here perfectly. Now hit here fit up to 100% and let's readjust here our shape layers in the scene maybe 2 or 3 frames ahead like so. The second one let's move maybe 3 frames ahead third one 6 frames ahead, fourth one 9 frames ahead and this fifth one maybe to around 12 frames ahead. You can also readjust the shapes randomly but when we hit 0 this is looking perfect to me. Now hit everything here in the final scene, grab everything, go right click to pre-compose, this is gonna be matte, make sure to move all attributes into the new composition and then hit OK. Now let's import media here in the timeline, just drag and drop, of course you will import your own, something like this, and then duplicate this matte layer once, hit ctrl plus D, move it above our media, and then select media and matte, and move it to around 6 frames ahead, something like this. And let's find here blending mode for media 01, alpha matte, if you can find blending modes, just go in this little icon, and find here toggle switches and modes to find our blending modes. Now hit on the bottom matte layer, go here in the facts and preset and find ramp effect drag and drop onto the matte layer and here also let's make a few adjustments but before that let's solo it here, ok. For the start of the ramp go upper left corner, for the end of the ramp lower right corner and here let's change colors, this is gonna be according our media, dark blue colors, color like so hit OK and for the second color I will do pinkish or purple color like this. Hit OK and now when we hit 0 we have even cool looking scene here in the finals, just uncheck this solo option, hit 0 
and this is looking cool for now. Now let's make this scene even better looking. Hit here on this media 01. Let's add our first effect. Go here in the facts and preset, find Triton effect. Okay, drag and drop onto the media and let's change color to cyan blue color. Hit here, okay. And our next effect that we're going to use is Gaussian blur. Drag and drop onto the media 01. For the blurriness, let's type 100. And also let's add glow effect. Drag and drop here on our media. And for the glow threshold type here 50, also glow radius 50. You can play around with the options. And for the glow intensity, maybe 0.8 is looking cool for now. Now let's select this media 01 and matte. You can also change colors, go right click, find here maybe purple color, then hit here again, hit control plus T and move this new media and matte layer here to around 12 frames ahead. Let's change colors again to maybe sand colors, hit here on our media 01, delete all of these effects, all of those effects and let's here import new effects. Find here, find edges, drag and drop onto the media 01, select this invert option. For the blend with the original, you can play around. I will do maybe to around 10%. Go and find next effect, exposure. Okay, drag and drop here on our media 01 again. For the exposure, I will do maybe around two. And our third effect is gonna be lens flare effect. Drag and drop here on our media. And here let's find third option, 105 millimeters prime. And now when we hit zero, this is looking cool to me. And for the final step, let's select this media 01 and matte once again, hit control plus D, move it to around 18 frames ahead, like so, change colors to maybe orange, and basically just delete all of the effects to see our final image here in the scene. Now hit zero to get our final result. And this is looking awesome. For the final step, let's pre-compose everything. Select everything, go right click to pre-compose. This is gonna be part 01. Make sure to move all attributes into the new composition. Hit okay. And here you can play around with the rotation. Duplicate this part one once, hit control plus D. Move it to around three frames ahead or so. Hit R for rotation, type here 180. And then duplicate this one once again. Hit Control plus D, hit R and type here zero again. And this third one, move it to around six frames ahead. And now when we hit zero here in our scene, we have this really awesome and really cool transition. All right, guys, as always, I hope you learned something new from this tutorial. You can implement this technique to your own project, to your own promos, intros, slideshows, and so many more. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I want to thank you for watching this one and to tell you that your support means a lot to me. Let's hit that uh, 1000 subscribers so I can be uh, even better in the future. Of course, you can take a look at my portfolio down below in the description. Also, write me a comment, share this tutorial and also take a look on my channel for even more great tutorials. And until next time, stay creative and bye bye.